Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is November 8th, and right now I'm doing a quick look at the California weather right now. We're looking at the Vandenberg Air Force Base here in California. Here's the Los Angeles metro area here. You can see this frontal system moving across the area now, these powerful segments associated with this cold front. This is going to move down across the uh, south end of California here today, and even a tornado threat for some of the coastal areas in the Los Angeles metro here. We'll look at some detail as well, but a powerful front diving down through the area today. Lots going on across California, so I wanted to do this this quick short video here just for the California area today. Now taking a look here, let's dive into things a little bit closer. You can see on the infrared satellite imagery that powerful frontal system that's going to be driving down towards Southern California today. Lots of snow across the Sierra Nevada and eventually down through the higher terrain of Southern California as well. Again, tornado threat, big waves, thunderstorm threat, heavy rains, flooding, all kinds of stuff. You name it, we got it down here across California today. I'm taking a look here a little bit closer here, Los Angeles area. You see storm total rain here, coastal valleys, foothills, Antelope Valley. You can see peak rain rates down there. Some good snowfall for the higher terrain, but the grapevine snow is, uh, issues are not to be expected here with this one. But you can see some pretty good totals to get a little bit higher here. And some gusty southwest winds across the area here. And now taking a look here, look at this tornado threat for South California here, Southern California here, right along the coastline, 2%. Should be a fairly brief tornado, but there is that threat. So heads up, eyes on the sky down there through Southern California today. Uh, you can see this hazardous beach conditions. This is going to really go for much of the California coastline today. Large breaking waves, 15 to 20 feet. Beach erosion hazardous surf conditions are out there. There's a wind advisory up for the Bay Area here from Big Sur all the way up past San Francisco and north towards Santa Rosa on the coastline here anyway. Gusty surface winds possible, gusts 35 to 45 coming up here. You can see the day one excessive rainfall outlook. It's moderate for portions of the higher terrain here down through Southern California. Even through Nevada area here could see some localized flooding as well. Marginal for some of the higher terrain inland Central California as well. But really there could be some urban flooding, all kinds of stuff. This frontal system drives down across the area it's going to bring some very heavy rain and could be some localized urban flooding across the area now taking a look here let's just dive right into this here this is for hanford california and this really goes for much of california as well dealing with these thunderstorms today you know it's kind of a rarity down here through california so you know follow the guidelines here and you'll be all right now taking a look here, dangerous travel. Can't really uh, focus on this enough. It's, a lot of travelers get stuck going across the Sierras here because they're not used to this kind of weather a lot of times. And uh, you know, these, this is the second storm of the season coming through here, but there's bound to be some people that get caught off guard by this. An additional one to three feet of snow, about 4,000 feet. Wind gusts 50 miles per hour. So heads up if you're going through the higher terrain out there especially. This is looking at the NAM 3KM. Here goes this powerful frontal system driving down across Southern California today. And that's what's going to bring that tornado NATO threat as we go through the afternoon and evening hours mainly across the area down here but you can see thunderstorms are going to be a threat through much of California here this morning uh, central southern California this morning on through this afternoon and evening as we go and again big snow totals for the higher terrain as this frontal system moves through now, what's driving this frontal system? This is a 2,500 feet here. You can see all this cold air aloft here right now, Oregon, California, and that's driving this front down across central and southern California today. Look at this cold air overtake the region here at 2,500 feet. Nice visualization of it here. And then you can see the deserts kind of warm up and some diurnal heating here. But you can see the cold air really moving over the inner mountain west here as we go on in through Thursday morning here. But that's what's driving this front. Now let's look a little bit higher, 5,000 feet. Another good visualization of what's going on here. Check out this cold air all the way down to Southern California here. Pretty crazy. As you can see, the inner mountain west really cloaked in this very cold air moving across the region here. Fairly unusual storm, especially during a La Nina year. This is such a welcome sight for California. I had to do a video just about it on its own. Take a look here, 10,000 feet, NAM 3 km. You can see the cold air starting to move down, but the really cold air is right here off central California here. As we go through, you can see this really overtake the region at 10,000 feet, just shown quite nicely here across the region. And you can see that kind of kick off to the east, going to affect the inner mountain west here, and then move on through the Rockies and out towards the plains where it may cause some winter weather conditions out there as well, maybe even a blizzard. This is at 500 millibars, 18,000 feet. We're going higher and higher. Check out this polar lobe that dives all the way down through California and starts to kick out finally on the Wednesday night as we go into Thursday morning here. But pretty nice visualization there of just how much cold air is coming down at 18,000 feet across the region. Now, this is like the dynamic tropopause here. This kind of reminder this is all connected to polar lobe here with the northern hemisphere as it cools down. During the fall and winter months here, we get what's known as these polar lobes. It's cold air areas break off and you can 
kind of see this move down across Pacific Northwest. This is the run from yesterday morning here, so I can show it a little bit more as it comes down the coast here into California, then eventually kicks up and across the Rockies and out over the, the northern plains here. But just kind of an interesting visualization there of what's going on at the very highest levels of our troposphere. Now, taking a look here, significant tornado parameter. This is the HER 3 kilometer. You can see with this frontal system moving down across the area through the Los Angeles metro area, about 21 to 03Z is the greatest time um, for threat of tornadoes across the coastal areas here. But really, the winds and the flooding, flash flooding, urban flooding are going to be a huge threat as well across the area. Once that front passes, you are good to go as far as the really big winds and any kind of tornado and thunderstorm threat go across the region this afternoon and evening. So taking a look, here, here's the her. This is what's going on. You can see as we go through the afternoon, all the cape that builds up along the coastline here and pushes inland across Southern California into the valley as well. So really can expect thunderstorms really Central California all the way down and mainly associated with that frontal system as it slides south this afternoon and evening. Now, so yeah, I just want to try out one of these videos just for California. I'm going to be doing my normal video here for the Pacific Northwest here just in a moment, but pretty dynamic storm moving through the area here. Lots going on. I just thought my California buddies down there would be happy to get a little bit of a briefing today. So anyway, um, hope you guys like this video and I will get to work on Pacific Northwest video here today for November 8th coming up here in a minute and I'll talk to you guys later.